Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you my October beauty favorites. I know it's a little bit into November, but here I am today to share these with you. And yeah, I have pretty much everything, but one item is all makeup. So straight up makeup to share. And the first item is like fashion or accessory related. So let's just jump in and start with that. So first up, I have to show you guys these belts. And these are called, I think the brand is called Belt Away. I got these on Amazon. And these are so amazing for making you look slimmer and just like sucking you in and keeping your pants up, which is what a belt is supposed to do. It's like this seat belt material. So it's like really stretchy and it sits super flat. To your waist which is good because it doesn't give you any extra like bulk or bulges and it's like a flat buckle let me try to show you so it sits it's a plastic buckle but it's flat so it sits really flat it doesn't give you that extra like bulge my style doesn't really involve like belts that are stylish or to be seen like basically if I wear a belt, I need to wear it because to keep my pants up. Um, <laughs> so I don't wear a belt to like show it off. I used to wear that style and like, you know, show off like the cool belts and stuff. And I used to be so cool back in the day. <laughs> but now I just need a belt to keep my pants up, keep my britches up. Um, so this actually does that without adding the extra bulk of the belt buckle. And it's amazing. It sits so, so close to your waist. It really does kind of suck you in and give you like an extra like takes a couple inches off I would say. So I really love those and I have mine in the black and then also this is like the denim color. It's basically like a navy blue but it does truly blend in with um like dark wash denim. So I love those. Go get you some. It keeps your pants up. No extra bulk bulge and it sucks you in really nice. Okay so next let's talk about some Highlight action, highlight on fleek for sure. These are the Ofra collaboration with Dupe That, which Dupe That, if you're not familiar, they have an Instagram account and they just basically, they dupe a lot of products. Short story long is that's what they do. <laughs> so they collabed with Ofra and they came out with these two highlighters and I've been wearing them all month long and I feel like I look dewy and I feel like I look wet on my face and I love it <laughs> so I do have a favorite out of the two and my favorite is the color that's called you glow girl and it's just more like a pinky like a champagne pink color and they're seriously amazing highlights they're so like creamy and just like really creamy but they look so good on the skin you guys see my highlight I'm actually wearing the other one today which I'll show you but see that highlight it's so good so I love that one the most. It's almost like a rose gold kind of. And then the other one, the one I'm wearing today, but the one that's like second place favorite just because of the tone of it. This is called You Do You, like D-E-W, <laughs> which is cute. And this is more of like a peachy, definitely more of like a peachy apricot color. So I just really love these and I will leave a coupon code below where you can get 40% off of your Ofra order if you're not familiar. So definitely check those out great highlights really up there in favorites for me with the becca shimmering skin perfectors pressed like those are probably my favorite highlights and these are really up there so really love those and the foundation combo that i cannot stop wearing <laughs> i think it's the one i've been wearing the two foundations i've been wearing in pretty much my entire every video that i put out like in the last couple months i've been wearing these and unless it was like a tutorial but anyway so i have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation and the shade that I've been using is Y215 and then I've been mixing in a drop of the custom or excuse me Cover FX custom cover drops and my shade is N10. This together this is beautiful by itself this is amazing pretty much with anything but this just gives you amps up the coverage if you're not familiar with it which I talk about this all the time my jars empty actually I need to order another bottle but I just love these together this is such a beautiful not dewy but kind of dewy finish on its own and I just love these together like flawless airbrush full coverage but natural looking at the same time so I really love the finish that these two give together so good another face product that I can't stop using is this NYX HD finishing powder. This is the yellow or it's called banana and it's just a pressed 
finishing powder and I've just been setting my under eyes with this and it just is so it's so soft and finely milled it's just like a really no point in really swatching it but it's just a really smooth powder and I just set my under eyes with it and it's really nice because you can't really go overboard with it I mean you can but you can be pretty generous and really set the under eye with this without it looking cakey and I've been having seasonal allergies so I really need to set that under under eye area especially up up under the lower lash line because my eyes water from allergies I can pack on a ton of this before it looks cakey like yeah you can probably overdo it with this one but you can really get a lot on there is what I'm trying to tell you so I really enjoy this for an under eye setting and it is really brightening because it is that yellow banana toned and it doesn't add like pigment a lot of pigment or coverage but it does do a great job of brightening so enjoy that a great drugstore product for setting and you could set your whole face with it but unless you're like really pink undertone but I just have been setting my under eye area with that going back to the foundation combination yes I just rhymed I've been applying it with a beauty blender a damp beauty blender I am such a brush lover and I love applying my foundation with a makeup brush like a foundation buffing brush probably just because I'm lazy and I don't like to get up and dampen my beauty blender every time I need to use it or whatever but I've been loving this combination with a damp beauty blender it just is so good on the skin I actually don't think I would like this combination if it wasn't for the tool the beauty blender so just keep that in mind I actually heard I think I heard Desi Perkins say that she talked to a makeup artist that was a Makeup Forever makeup artist and he said that the this product was meant to be like stippled in and not like buffed in but actually like pounced in to your skin with a beauty blender so maybe that's why I like it but these three together another product that I've been using to help really brighten up under the eye and just kind of counteract any yuckiness from allergies I get really puffy and I get really I feel like my under eyes get more like darker like more blue and purpley I don't know why but I've been using my oldie but goodie <laughs> the MAC prep and prime what is this called prep and prime highlighter in light boost which is like the yellow one mine is like so gross but it's just a click up highlighting product but it's more of a yellowy a yellowy toned so I just mix that in with my under eye concealer blend it out with my beauty blender and it really does give nice highlighted fresh fresh face appearance to my face <laughs> when I can use all the help that I can get and then the NYX over it is such a great combination to really brighten up the skin. I've been wearing this paint pot as my base for the last over the last month and I haven't used any other eye primer this is it. It's the MAC paint pot in vintage selection which is such a beautiful it's like a champagne but it almost to me it almost has like a gray like a taupe a topeness to it but it is like a champagne taupe almost yeah you guys can see this watch and decide on how you would want to describe it it's so beautiful though it really does just brighten the eyes and just add a little bit of light back in and yeah I go over it with with other eyeshadows so you can't really see it shining through but you kind of can or it's good on really natural makeup days I just swipe it on and just maybe do like a crease color and a highlight and you're good to go. Such a beautiful one and if you don't have it definitely check this one out. Another oldie but goodie product that I've been using the last month or longer is the MAC Blush in Harmony. And I've been using this for contour so just like right under there and right on my jawline. It's just such a natural, really beautiful, subtle contour for fair skin you really can't go too wrong with it or overboard and that's what I like about it let me show you the brush I've been using to apply it with because it just makes it so easy Ornamental. I've been using that Harmony blush with the Makeup Geek chiseled cheek brush that looks like that so you just get it in there and literally I just take it like that and just do -do -do, and then do, -do, do on the jawline and then I just when I go in with my bronzer my bronzer brush I just kind of buff it in and blend it if it needs it I do blend it because you will need it because that lays down kind of a, a somewhat of a harsh line for contour but because of the color and the pigmentation it's not like it's just good and it just works it just makes it so fast so I really love those together and this brush I am adding right now right here and now I'm adding it to my favorites because 
It's what makes it so easy, these two together. For my blush favorites, I've had two blushes in my, that drawer right there. That is my like everyday makeup drawer. I have my basic necessities in there, the products that I have used on a daily basis. So I've had these two Chanel blushes in there and I honestly haven't really worn, I think these are the only blushes I've worn most of the month, which is kind of insane for me because I like to switch up my blush every time I wear makeup. So to have a blush favorite is kind of, kind of weird for me. But these are both by Chanel and I have the color Canal, Canali. I don't speak that language. I'm not quite sure how to say that, but it's just like a beautiful bronzy terracotta rose color. Oh, it's so pretty. And I really do enjoy these blushes when I use these compared to like, I don't know, other blushes. It's just so much easier to work with and it's just so flattering and so just enhancing and you just it's just beautiful like I could repeat myself all day and then the other one that I've been using a ton is rose bronze which is a little bit more of a neutral a neutrally pinky peach color but not like it's more of a pink like a pinky nude really and these smell so good they smell so powdery and just so like luxurious so I love those two I don't know what my favorite one is Probably for the fall, I love that Canali, Canela mm, color, just because it's so bronzy and like terracotta, which is perfect for fall. So I love those so much. I've been trying to do that with a lot of these products, and I have been doing that, is putting them in that drawer right there, my everyday makeup drawer, and really getting to know them by using them multiple, multiple times throughout the month. So I really, you know, I really know how they work for me. I know what I like about them. I know what they don't like, as opposed to... Most of the time in my makeup life, <laughs> my makeup wearing life, I just like to wear different things every single day that I wear makeup just to switch it up. But I've just been in the, been in the mood to like repeat stuff, which is kind of boring, but it's not really me. But I've been doing it and I've been really enjoying it. I feel like this month I've tried a lot of different new eyeshadows, but my favorites are the new Makeup Geek. Well, some of them are new and some of them are reformulated. The matte eyeshadows. These are just so, they're so good and they just go with everything. I am wearing some of them today. Like what I've been doing is just doing like a matte eyeshadow look and then putting a like a shimmery or sparkly whatever um, color on the lid to give more dimension. But the colors that I've been surprisingly really loving the most are these gray colors. So I have Concrete Jungle, which is this darker it's kind of like a gray, like with a little bit of purple in it. And then this lighter gray, which is called Bedrock. And it's just more of a, oh, it's so smooth though. It's just like a gray. Maybe has a little bit of almost blue. It's a very cool undertone. And then I've been loving this one, which is Petal Pusher. It's just, I use that first almost for every time I wear these eyeshadows. I use Petal Pusher as a transition color. It's a little bit different than what I usually do because I usually just do like a, you know, mid-tone, medium matte brown color, but that's just gives a little extra. And I actually really love Carnival, which is a that bright pinky fuchsia purple color, just a little bit in the crease. I'm actually wearing some of that today. You can't really like say like, oh my gosh, she's wearing like a bright fuchsia in her crease. It's just, so, it's so subtle the way that I do it. And I love it. And then Cherry Cola is another favorite. I mean, let's be real. I love them all. Mirage, is a must-have as well as that yellow that baby yellow color really does just brighten I've been wearing that like as a base eyeshadow under like every look that I've been doing so absolutely love these they're only six bucks a pan can't go wrong so good sticking with the eyes these new ColourPop pencils are a-okay in my book so the formula of these is called the cream gel liner and they're the they retract up their clicky up pencils and these seriously stay put like no other and I would compare them to the they're creamier to me than the Marc Jacobs highlighter gel eyeliner and obviously look at all the colors to choose from uh, hello it's like a Crayola box so they're a little bit creamier than the Marc Jacobs and I would say the Marc Jacobs probably lasts just a little bit longer but there's really not a huge difference in the longevity and for I think these are five bucks five dollar shot color only and the color range is fantastic my favorite colors let me show you well I have like one diehard favorite color I like all, I've been using 
a lot of the different colors like just on different days but the one that I've worn multiple multiple repeated times is the color called piggy bank and I just wear it in my lower waterline I actually have a tutorial where I wore this so you guys can see it and that was the steampunk smoke makeup geek duochrome eyeshadow tutorial and it's like a purpley fuchsia color which is kind of a weird color to me to put in my waterline, but it just contrasts with my green eyes. It would just look beautiful actually on all eye colors. Doesn't matter. It would just contrast with blues, with browns, with greens, and just really make the iris, that color part of your eye, just like stand out and just an extra kick, but not over the top. A little extra, but not over the top is like totally me, like in a nutshell. So Piggy Bank is such a great color. Stays put. Definitely check these out. Now compared to the ones in the pot, I don't really love those as much. They're still great for what you pay. I think those are five dollars as well. But I'm just really kind of lazy. I don't really like to get another brush. With those you have to use a brush, you know, to dip it in there and then you have to clean the brush. Blah, blah, blah. Smart blah. <laughs> so and they, some of the ones that I did use were a little bit dry of the pot ones, but these like you can't these pencils you can't go wrong I highly recommend them all right and my last favorites for the month are the dose of color liquid lipsticks these are so so good and these are the three that I've been wearing like throughout the month I have bury me which is probably like my favorite color of the month and then truffle and stone which I have lip swatches so I will put those up now so you guys can see this formula if you haven't seen my favorite liquid lipstick videos, which go watch, <laughs> um, that's a video that I did recently. So I talk about like my top five favorite liquid lipsticks. These are so good and they, I, I just love them. They're so like cushiony and just like fluffy on the lips. I am wearing this formula in some new colors that I got, which I'll show you. I don't want to repeat myself too much from what I said in that video, but basically if you want to get on the liquid lipstick trend, get on it, get on the train, get on the bandwagon, <laughs> but you feel like they're really drying and not very flattering, try these and I don't think you'd be disappointed. I really don't. And they smell really good as well. And then the other ones, I just got these in the mail like a couple days ago, but I am wearing two of the colors today. I'm wearing their new color, which is called Bear With Me, as like a base. And then I have the color Sand, which is like a super nude like just nude color on the center of the lips for a little bit dimension. I am wearing MAC Lip Pencil and Whirl with Stone as well. And then the other new one that I got, I haven't tried it yet, but it's called Brick. And it's basically like the perfect brick fall winter color. So I just love these so hard. You have to try them out. They're 18 bucks and you have to pay for shipping. There's no coupon codes. I searched high and low for a coupon code and I couldn't find one. So that kind of stinks, but such a good liquid lipstick and the packaging is like this little frosted I just love these okay guys so that wraps up my October beauty favorites I hope you guys enjoyed and of course like everything I always want to know what you guys have been loving so leave your favorites or if you had a fail leave those down below and then if if you have any favorites this that are the same as mine of course let me know because then we can be twins. <laughs> I would also really love for you guys to leave video requests below. I know I ask that like all the time, but I want to know what you guys want to see because I need to be making a list of videos to film so I can film them because I'm kind of running a little low on video ideas. So please leave your requests below and I would love to make those videos for you. And yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you will be a subscriber subscribe. I don't know why I said that so weird. If you're not and have a great day, I'll see you guys in my next video.